Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I want to talk about saving energy. Which computer uses the least power when idle? And which computer consumes the least power when working under full load? You have probably seen my old video about simultaneous multithreading, hyperthreading and little big. I will take another look at these computers today. However, there are two other participants, the Vespian Pi 4 and 5. These single board computers are pretty small, just as large as a credit card. On the right hand side you can see my electricity meter. It is maybe not very accurate, but all CPUs were measured with the same device. These small single board computers were originally not intended as desktop computers. They are very inexpensive devices. Let's check how they compare to the other devices. Of course I used the FAT benchmark again. The Pi 4 takes about 11 minutes and 46 seconds. The Pi 5 was around 3 times faster. It completed the benchmark in 3 minutes and 44 seconds. So the single core performance of the Pi 4 is around 0.08 tables per minute. The multi-core performance is around 0.3 tables per minute. The single core performance of the Pi 5 is 0.26 tables per minute and 0.98 tables per minute while using all cores. Let's add the two new computers to the old benchmark results. You probably still know this table. The Pi 4 is clearly the slowest. Even slower than an 8 year old cheap desktop computer. But the Pi 5 is already as fast as a 9 years old mid-range computer. On the previous page you could see only a part of my measurements. In fact, I did a lot more measurements. With the Pi 5 you can clearly see again that the performance is nearly proportional to the number of real cores. But what about energy consumption? On this page you can see the energy consumption in watts. When idle, the Pi only uses around 3 watts, while the Athlon uses around 50 times more energy just for nothing. I measured the energy consumption for the real computer, not just the CPU. So including the hard drive, the memory, the fan, the keyboard, the mice, but without the screen. If you are only interested in the CPU power consumption, then just subtract the idle value from the value under load and repeat the following calculations yourself. But I think that is unneeded, since it's not very realistic and we also want to get only a rough overview, especially because the consumption is not very constant when idling. You can now see all the measured values on this page. Below is the power in watts and above are the points of the benchmark. So to get a value of energy efficiency, I just need to divide the number of points in the benchmark by the energy consumption. With this calculation I get the following results. Because the table may be a bit confusing, I created a ranking list for everyday tasks. Computation on only one core and computation on all cores. The small single board computers do pretty well. They are in second and third place in the rankings. The ARM CPUs are obviously much better than x86 CPUs. The comparison is maybe not entirely fair because the computers came from different decades. Newer computers are definitely much more energy efficient than older computers. If you don't have a very complex timetable, you can work very well and be energy efficient with the Pi 5. The Pis are unbeatable, especially when idling. 
If your computer is over 10 years old, it might be worth buying a new one. But at least as important as using the latest FAT version. Because the latest version is faster, has more new features and known bugs have been removed. That's it for today. Have a nice day.